Today on the channel, we got the baddest of the bad with Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Edition, Shredder. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today on the channel from the Turtles line, we got the ultimate bad guy. We got Shredder. But for all your Shredder Super 7 needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Without further ado, let's see what Shredder is up to. Now, this is an old school turtle figure, and we do got the brown shipping container for these. So we don't get these anymore. Back at this time, we actually did. See you later. Goodbye. And now we get down to business here. We got a little Shredder looking good. Got that kind of manhole cover with Shredder's head on it looking nice. Nothing on the sides here. Nothing really fun on the top. Nothing fun on the bottom. Classic Turtles logo on the back, always looking good. And then we got the slipcase cover. You just slip it off, as we do know. See you later. Once again, goodbye. And we get Shredder in all of his glory. Shredder looking very interesting right here. Turtles logo down there. Big window box. Brick facade that we're used to with these turtle figures from Super 7 line. Then on the back, we got a little bit of a blurb back here. Let's see what it says about our old friend, Shredder. The bad guy leader... Shredder is the hideous, gruesome, and all-around bad guy leader of the Foot Clan, the organized band of evil ninjas. This low life came to power when he betrayed his ninja master, Hamato Yoshi, now Splinter. Shredder wants nothing more than to control the world, and to get there, he'll stop at nothing, even if that means grading his victims like cheese with his razor-sharp armor. The obstacles in his path are none other than the turtles, and he means to destroy them. So... Shredder, an ultimate bad guy, a must-have if you're collecting the Turtles line. Uh, any Turtle line, you got to have Shredder, of course. See you later, goodbye. If you don't have Shredder, what are you doing? How do you even How do you even come to market? See you later, goodbye. A lot of see you laters here. How do you even get after things without Shredder? He is a must-have character, as we see right here. I will mention, though, out of all the big bad guys, the Cobra Commanders, the Skeletors, the, the Megatrons, things like that, his original toy, probably the most disappointing of all those, a very disappointing toy for the main bad guy in the old Playmates line when I was a little kid. We'll get to that later on in this video. But I'm going to take this offline. I'm going to get him out of the package, and we'll be back talking all things Super 7 Ultimates Shredder. All right, we got the evil Shredder out of the package. Let's dive in. Let's start with the accessories per the norm here. And, of course, we got the weapons rack, the weapons tree, an old-school favorite for me, I leave this all together. It is what it is. But you get all the weapons. Very classic, very Playmates inspired from way back in the day. So we got that over there. Now we do get hands here with old Shredder. Shredder's got two gripping hands out of the package. Thankfully, he has two fists of fury. As we always say, when the chips are down, the fists got to come out. We got those going on. And then we do get the splayed out hands here for Shredder. So you get really all the Shredder hands going on right here. And of course, his original figure had the splayed out hands. Little purple dress up on there, give it a little extra to the skin tone. I am here for that. So perfect hands as far as this one goes here. A few weapons, very interesting. We do got, where did that uh, sword go? Oh, right there. I was going to say, I had a sword and put it on the front, but he's got his big old sword. This is the weapon I think of with Shredder. So we got the sword, nice silver blade here, gold at the top, nice brown handle, gold at the bottom. Playing all the Shredder hits right here with that big old sword looking nice. And then we do get two weapons here. I always call these the pizza weapons because they're in the shape of a piece of pizza. But little daggers, little knives there. Very on brand. We've seen these with the Turtles. We've seen them with other characters. Uh, just classic ninja weapons in the Turtle line. Same thing with this one as well. Uh, very cool here. Brown and silver attack. Representing the weapons department for old Master. Master Shredder? I guess kind of. Kind of the foot soldier in some ways. Then we get this one. We do get to choose our own cape adventure. How about that? That is always fun. Now, this is a hard 
goods one here. Now, I did get the re-release Shredder just recently. We haven't unboxed it on the channel. I might do that follow-up week. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but very nice to get this little cape here because you can choose your own cape adventure. And from that other one, I might have one with the plastic cape, one with the cloth tape, make or cape, make them feel as different as I possibly can. But we get this nice one, nice purple color, dark wash against it. Very on brand for old Shredder here. But now we get old Shredder himself, and we got two head sculpts for Shredder here. And I do appreciate that they gave us the OG head sculpt. But once again, it goes back to the original Shredder as far as being a main villain of a toy line cartoon, possibly the worst villain figure of all time, as this was kind of the original head for Shredder. And these big, like caveman forehead going on with the big eyebrows painted on just absolutely strange one of the worst head sculpt designs ever back in the day even when i was a little kid i'm like man that looks so weird and you got the helmet going on you got the mask going on but just strange where the eyebrows are on there never understood this head but here it is here for those that want to really keep it official og you can do that and then we do get shredder here Looking a little bit better with this head sculpt. This is the one I'm going to use at the end of the day. This feels like Shredder to me. Got the classic helmet design, classic purple right there. Kind of the hollow dead inside eyes there. He's just a man built on vengeance and world domination. He's got that going on. And then, of course, very iconic to Shredder as well. Spikes all over. Spikes on the arm, spikes on the forearm. Nice little weapons on the front. Glad these are kind of rubbery. They're not going to kill anybody here with the sharpness of them. And you just got the sharp uh, knee guard shin pads or shin guards down here. Like a young Terry Steinbach tried to do in 1986 when he was just coming up in the minors, uh, getting out of college. Shout out to New Old Minnesota. Terry Steinbach, uh, but looking very good here. And then Terry tried to use these and they were outlawed. Shredder later adopted them. The rest truly is history, as we can see. Got the ninja foot wrappings here, all in purple. The black pants going on. Talked about it. We got the kind of cape robe going on. Got bendy wire in it, so you get movement out of that. That is very cool. That is very classic. Got the nice kind of stretchy rubber belt around there. Just looking very good. Looking like Shredder. I definitely enjoy this figure. This is a must-have if you're collecting this line. you got to have Shredder in your collection. Very good Shredder right here. I also like the skin tone color on him. He's got a little sun-kissed. Uh, He's got a little tan. Not quite hot dog color, but good enough here. I do like the coloring on this one. Uh, very, very nice for Shredder here. Of course, arms do go all the way around on him. You do get a bicep cut. Single jointed elbows. Got the side to side of the elbows as well. Hands removable, back and forth, side to side. Head removable, back and forth, side to side. Not a lot of up and down on the head there. Uh, you do get an ab crunch. No, no ab crunch on Shredder here, it looks like. Interesting. You do get the waist back and forth. You do get some ninja splits going on. Deep ninja splits there. Legs go up as well. Knee bend, side to side at the knee. Ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down. So usual Super 7 articulation for the most part right here. For all Shredder. Does he fit on a ringside collectible Mattel stand? Use discount code KYLE at ringside collectibles and what do you know fits perfectly right there on that stand and i had to get the old school one the old school shredder just leaving a heck of a lot to be desired as you guys can see right here obviously this is a vast improvement this is nostalgic in its own way but also very disappointing if you're a little kid back in the day getting this one you just wanted more out of your shredder could say the same thing about splinter in the line wanting more out of splinter as well it is what it is. You couldn't reinvent the wheel back then. But now here, all these years later, inspired by the Playmates toys, we get a, dare I say, almost perfect shredder, really, at the end of the day. Very fun, very nostalgic, and even a nod to the past with this second head sculpt. So pretty cool if you ask me. I'm here for this Shredder. An immediate pickup, like I said, if you are into this line. So Shredder coming in hot for this Turtle Tuesday. But what are your thoughts on Shredder? Are you all in on this one? Obviously, it's been around a while. A lot of you guys probably have this by now. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you on Patreon. Don't forget the Patreon. Early access to both YouTube channel videos. So make sure you subscribe to both channels. Make sure you subscribe to the old Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at PressandTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. So for the mighty Shredder, I'm the mighty Kyle. See you guys all real soon.